Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back, or it's the first time to my channel, then welcome. So today's video is going to be a first impression, review, and wear test on the brand new Fenty Beauty products by Rihanna. It was insane at Sephora, by the way. I have never seen so many people huddled around like one little section at Sephora before, especially in person. It was really intense trying to get all this stuff. I was literally on the floor, guys swimming through people, just grabbing products and trying to get as many things as I can for you guys to do a nice little review. So like I said, I'm going to be doing a first impression and wear test. So not only am I going to be putting all these products on my face, obviously live on camera and giving you guys my first impressions, but I'm also actually going to wear it for the rest of the day. So I'm going to be letting you guys know how these products actually wear. So I really hope that you guys are going to enjoy it. I cannot wait to try all this stuff out. Please let me know all of your thoughts down below. Are you going to try this brand? Are you excited about it? Have you tried anything? And let me know all of your thoughts. Of course, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. So without further ado, let's get right into it. I first want to say how impressed I am about the fact that Fenty Beauty released off the bat 40 foundation shades. I think that is amazing and so just inclusive. For a lot of people, it is really hard to find their exact shade, but with 40 shades, I mean, you're pretty much guaranteed to find something that's going to closely match you. She has everything from super fair shades to deeper shades to shades in between. And there's also a huge variety of cool toned, neutral, and warm tone shades. I think I'm just gonna go through the products as I actually apply them just to make it a whole lot easier for everybody. So let's zoom in and start applying the foundation. Fenty Beauty does have a primer. However, I didn't really wanna purchase it just solely for the review of the video because I figured that honestly, I wouldn't really like it since it is more of a mattifying primer and I do have dry skin and I never ever, ever put mattifying primers anywhere near my face. So instead, I'm just going to take my Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream, just the moisturizer that I have on hand and I'm just going to moisturize my face nicely before applying this foundation. All right, so here is what the foundation looks like. It is called the Pro Filter Soft Matte Long Wear Foundation. And I got the shade 190, which matches me perfectly. This is one of their neutral shades. It's like it has a really nice weight to it. It has like frosted glass and then a white top and a nice little pump as well. So to apply my foundation, I'm gonna be using the sponge that also came out in the collection. The sponge is rounded on one side and flat on the other as well as on the top. And it actually feels very similar to a beauty blender. It's nice and squishy. It's not like super Dense, like a lot of beauty blender dupes can sometimes be. So just based off of other reviews that I've seen, I've heard that this foundation is very matte and very full coverage. I personally have a drier skin type, so it will be interesting to see how this performs on a skin type that has dry patches. So I'm just gonna dot this on one side of my face and blend it out. And I'm gonna take the sponge and just with the flat side, I'm gonna start to pounce it into the skin. Oh my God, that color matches. Amazing, I'm so happy. Okay, I could tell right off the bat that this is definitely very full coverage. Covered up my redness with no problem. So here's what one thin layer looks like on my face. I'm pretty pleased with the way that this looks. Doesn't seem like it's attaching to any dry patches. Blended out really nicely and um, yeah, didn't really have any issues with that. I think it looks pretty good so far, but we'll see what it looks like once it actually settles down. My skin, it doesn't look overly matte. It looks more of like a natural finish. A lot of my natural like shine is coming through as you guys can see. It doesn't look completely flat, which I do really like. And it covered up absolutely everything, but it doesn't look heavy or cakey. So I also bought the Match Sticks Trio. This is a conceal contour and little highlight kit. So in her collection, she has the liquid foundations, but she also has these cream sticks that come in like skin tone shades. So she has like everything ranging from super fair to deep, but she also even has cool tone shades to contour. And then within like the sticks lineup, there's also highlight shades and color shades to use all over the face. So these are supposed to be like multi-purpose type of products. Products. So I bought the set Light 100, which comes with the shades Linen, Amber, and Starstruck. What's really cool about them is they actually fit together magnetically, which is awesome. So I'm gonna take the shade Linen, which is the light shade, and I'm going to conceal with this. So let's see what this looks like underneath the eyes. Rather than like swiping it directly onto my skin, I'm just going to put my finger into the product, warm it up. This is what Linen looks like. It's a nice light shade. And I'm just going to dot that underneath my eyes and blend it out with my finger. I'm just going to take my sponge and just go over that to make sure it's nicely blended. I still see so much like shadow underneath my eye, 
which I don't love. So I feel like this is the type of product that maybe wouldn't be best to use as a concealer, but just mainly to use to brighten up the face, like rather than using it directly underneath the eyes, maybe just concentrating it in this area and on other areas of the face where you want to just add some brightness. I feel like that is where this product will really shine. It's not bad though, like don't get me wrong, it's just like not my favorite concealer I've ever put underneath my eyes. I'm also gonna highlight with this, so I'm gonna put this down the bridge of my nose. I really like the way it blends out though. It's not like a super like thick and heavy formula that just doesn't move around. It seems to blend out nicely. Okay, so that is linen. So now I'm going to take amber, which is the contour shade. This is like such a nice color for a contour shade. It's really nice and cool toned. I'm gonna just apply it directly from the stick onto my cheekbones. Temples and hairline. It's blending nicely, you just gotta sort of tap over it a few times and it diffuses out. It literally just looks like a shadow. This is such an awesome contour shade. This I'm a really big fan of, I love this shade. Little update on the foundation now that it's sort of like sit on my skin for a little bit. It doesn't really feel like it's completely set down. Like when I touch my skin it feels not really tacky, but it doesn't feel completely dry, which I'm actually okay with because it doesn't feel super drying on my skin. Um, like I said, I'm really surprised with how dewy my skin is looking right now. I don't know if it's because of the moisturizer that I applied directly before, but my skin has like a really, really nice, just like natural shine to it. It doesn't look flat or matte really at all to me but I'm not mad at this. I think it looks really, really good. So I'm actually just gonna quickly bronze up my skin with my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Um, the Fenty line does not have any powder bronzers and I didn't pick up a super warm matchstick, unfortunately. I didn't think of it, so I'm just gonna use this bronzer to just warm up my complexion a little bit. So now it's time to add some blush and I got another one of the matchsticks and this one is called Yacht Life and this is one of the colored ones. It's a coral with a golden sheen. It reminds me a lot of um, NARS Orgasm but a little bit more coral and with no chunkiness of glitter or anything like that. So I'm gonna warm it up first on the back of my hand, dot it on the apples of my cheeks and build it up from there. I think I'm just gonna swipe directly onto my cheek. I really do like how all of these cream products that I'm playing with right now are not super creamy. I find because they don't have that like slip to them, it really feels like they're going to actually stay on my face and I guess that's something we'll find out during the wear test, but it feels sort of locked and loaded once I apply it. So now it is time to highlight the face, which I think is probably one of the most exciting parts of this whole entire brand are all of the highlighters. I went really crazy when purchasing the highlighters because I couldn't really help myself. So they came out with two different highlighter formats. One one of them is the highlighter duos, which look like this. So you got two complementary highlighter shades, and then there are the single highlighters, which just fill up the whole entire pan. I'm gonna take the shade Metal Moon, and this one is basically like a pure white highlighter. It's a little bit more transparent than the other ones. It doesn't have like a super solid white base to it. It almost has more of just like a glossy glow, and it also has like a really, really soft gold uh, shift to it, which I thought was really pretty. So I also bought the highlight brush. I was really, excited about this brush because it looks so different and it feels really really nice and soft even though these are synthetic so i'm gonna take metal moon and put the highlighter on one side of the brush tap off the excess and then just apply that it has a lot of glitter in it and that glitter is just accentuating so much texture on my skin like it's making my pores just look really really enlarged but that is really just a personal preference thing like Generally, I don't really love really intense highlighters, but if you do, I don't see why you wouldn't absolutely love this. It doesn't look as intense as it does in person, which is strange because normally on camera it looks like really, really crazy. So now I'm going to take the shade Mean Money Hustla Baby, which is more of like the champagne gold duo. And I'm going to take the glittery golden side and just apply this all over my lid. Oh my God, that looks so gorgeous as an eyeshadow. Definitely gonna be using them as eyeshadow, probably even more than I'll be using them as a highlighter. Okay, now I'm gonna go into the shade Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal, and the shades in here are a little bit more silvery pinky, so I'm going to take the more subtle satin side and put that onto my brow bone. Ooh, on the eyes, man, these are gorgeous. 
These are staying on the vanity for brow bone highlights, that's for sure. Okay, so last but not least for the lips, I'm going to be taking the Fenty Glow Lip Gloss. Now there's only one shade of lip gloss. It's supposed to be a universal gloss that is supposed to look good on everybody's skin tone. Um, I actually did already try this on because I couldn't help myself, guys. It's sort of like a rosy nude, has a bit of like a pinky undertone and it's very glossy and it also smells like my childhood. I can't pinpoint exactly what it is. Please let me know in the comments if you get me on this and let me know what it is that I'm thinking of. It's a semi-opaque gloss, so it's not like super opaque and super like thick and gloppy. When you rub your lips together, it has like a really nice, just like buttery feel to it. It's not like sticky in the slightest and it smells and tastes so good. <laughs> oh my God, you know what I just realized? I didn't set my under eyes with any powder and it's not creasing at all, which is quite impressive. So here is a close up, or as close as I can get to my camera of my skin. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like in front of natural lighting a little bit later on my vlog camera, but it looks really nice, right? The foundation at least, I'm like super into. It is 1.32 in the afternoon. I will check in with you guys a little bit later. All right, guys, it is time for the first official update of the day. Right now, it is 3.24 p.m., so it's 3.30. It's been about two-ish hours since um, first applying all this makeup. I actually just filmed a whole other video, which is why my lips are a little bit red, because I just did a little bit of a lip swatch video, so the lip gloss right now is no longer on my lips. My skin basically just looks flawless. It definitely looks like, you know, I'm wearing foundation, but it doesn't look overdone, and I just love, like, the natural finish that it has. It's definitely not overly matte at all. Let me just give you guys a nice little close-up, and this is just with natural light. Like, it looks so good. It doesn't look overly dry or anything one thing i have noticed however it does get a little bit darker probably about like half a shade that is something i would probably keep in mind then when you are choosing a shade maybe go a little bit lighter and as for the under eye concealer it is not creased at all which is so impressive considering that i did not set it with any powder highlighter still going strong it looks really really pretty on camera just in person like i mentioned it's just too metallic for me and it's just accentuating the things that don't want to be accentuated but overall i'm really happy with the way that my makeup is looking i feel like i'm having a great makeup day so far so. all right guys so this is going to be my final check-in it is time to give you guys my final thoughts right now it is about 7 15 so it's been around six and a half hours and i feel like that's quite a good enough time to test everything out and really not much has changed since even my last check-in so i'm just going to like run down everything and let you guys know my final thoughts so far on the fenty beauty products overall i just feel like the foundation has settled on my skin really nicely it doesn't look heavy or cakey it just really looks quite natural especially for a fuller coverage finish it doesn't look like super heavy on my skin i also like how it hasn't really faded anywhere it has sort of like bunched up and gathered around my nose area and it has creased slightly in like my smile lines but that happens with literally every single foundation that i put on my face it really doesn't matter what brand it is and i find that especially since my natural oils have started to come through the foundation like the finish has been looking really really pretty it's definitely not a dewy foundation but it does have a really beautiful just natural sheen to it overall i think this is probably my my favorite thing that I've tried from the collection now as far as the tools go for the sponge I don't think that this is anything revolutionary if you already have a beauty blender and you don't need to get a new one then I don't think that this is totally necessary after using it I realized that I don't really love the flat side of the sponge I don't find that it does anything special for me it could be useful if you bake and you want something that's like nice to bake underneath the cheekbones to really sharpen up that contour line but other than that like to blend out the foundation this really did it like wow me it's very similar to the beauty blender so nothing too crazy special highlighter brush though i'm actually really excited about this like i mentioned at the beginning of the video i think it's really cool that they came out with a different looking brush that's something that i haven't really seen before i like the shape of it i expected it to not really blend out highlighter that well just because it's a little bit more dense and i thought that it would just create almost like a stripe on the tops of my cheekbones but it buffed it up nicely it sort of just like really allows you to put the highlighter in the perfect place i think this could actually be really nice to contour with 
I'm gonna try that next time. Next, we've got the Gloss Bomb. Now, the Gloss Bomb is really nice. I like it. I'm definitely gonna continue to use it. It's not a super unique product, but overall, I think it is a nice gloss. I like the texture. I love the smell. It smells so yummy, and I really like the way it makes my lips look. It sort of makes them look really nice and juicy, and just the tone of it is, is definitely very flattering. It's not too light, not too dark. So next, we've got the Matchsticks. First of all, the packaging. I mean, packaging for this whole collection, but specifically for these are just so cool. I love that they all just sort of stick together like a little puzzle piece because they are magnetic starting off with the concealer shade that we used which was linen i am really really impressed with how this wore as you guys know i did not set this with powder and it has not moved i also like the texture of them i feel like they sort of sit right in the middle where they blend out really easily but they're not too emollient that they'll slip and slide around the face i think i'll probably be using linen more so to like highlight my face and not so much as concealer even though it worked really well as concealer i just have many others that i find work a little bit better underneath my eyes but i do really like this to like highlight the areas of my face amber the contour shade i think that this is probably one of the best like cream contour shades that i've come across in a while it's the perfect shade if you have a fair to light skin tone because it's really nice and cool tone that it actually looks like a shadow on the face so a plus for this i didn't try the shade starstruck which is like the pinkish cream highlighter this definitely seems way more up my alley compared to the other highlighters which i will get to really nice and natural looking but it still has quite a punch as you can see like it's very glowy but it's not shimmery so overall the matchsticks are really cool i sort of want to go and get like a bronzer shade to try that out um so yeah a plus for formula and shade selection. I'm pretty happy with them. So next, the Kilowatt highlighters. These are definitely a little bit more on the intense side. They're very, very blinding, very metallic. They do have glitter in them. The glitter isn't like chunky or unflattering, but it is there. This is a highlighter that will give you that like really, really intense glow. So if you are like me and you don't absolutely love super metallic or in super intense highlighters, then you may not be a super big fan of these only because they they are definitely that so for me personally I don't absolutely love these highlighters although I could definitely appreciate that a lot of people will even though they are like super intense they still look smooth on the skin it's not like there's just chunks of glitter all over the tops of your cheekbones however I do think that the one exception is this duo over here this is the lightning dust fire crystal duo and this one is not quite as glittery as like the other two duo highlighters I find that the texture is a lot smoother and as you can see I swatch it right over here it just has like a really gorgeous glow without any like super super metallic sheen so I find that this one is definitely the most wearable and it's the one that is probably my favorite and that I will definitely continue to use the most so yeah guys that is it for today's first impression and review of Fenty Beauty I really hope that you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful please let me know all of your thoughts down below let me know what you think of the makeup if you've tried anything what you want to try leave them all down below love to hear what you guys have to say of course give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed already and I will see you guys in the next one bye